from Attorney General Kwame Raoul shows that hundreds of Catholic clergy members in Illinois sexually abused nearly 2,000 children over several decades. WGN's Alyssa Donovan is here with more on this tonight. Alyssa? Yeah, Ray and Micah, so we know that there's about 2,000 survivors documented in the report and more than 450 Catholic clerics and religious brothers from around the state. While the report sheds light on years of child sexual abuse in the Catholic Church, one survivor tells me nothing could ever make right the trauma he suffered at the hands of his priest and the toll it has taken on his life. He probably destroyed it for a while. Jimmy Stevens is one of 1,997 survivors identified within the nearly 700 page Attorney General's report outlining sexual abuse across all six dioceses in Illinois. It is my sincere hope that this report will shine light on those who violated their positions of power and trust. 451 clergy members are named in the report, including this man, Father Joseph Fitzharris, photographed here with his arm around young Jimmy Stevens. I drank a lot for, for years. Stevens says Father Fitzharris began abusing him in the late 70s at St. Francis Xavier Church in Avondale. The priest threatened to fire Stevens' mother, who worked for the archdiocese, if he told anyone what happened. Not being able to tell somebody exactly something of that nature it can really screw somebody up and, and you bottle it up and it don't feel good. For decades, he kept the secret, painstakingly allowing the priest to baptize his daughters rather than reveal the abuse. I had had my kids and my parents pushed me to have this priest baptize them on top of it. Fitzsimmons was convicted for child sexual abuse in 1987, but went on to work for the church under supervision for several years. Stevens, one of 20 of his victims outlined in the report. Cardinal Blaise Supic assuring that all of the abusers noted are removed from ministry. But I can assure the public, we have taken everybody out of ministry. There is no one in ministry today who has abused a child, and we have reported all cases, even if they are uh, anonymous and third party to authority. Stevens was just nine years old when the abuse started, and it went on for years. He's now in his 50s, and he's turned to therapy. He's also remarried and started a family in Arizona. He hopes that sharing his story shows other survivors they're not alone. Back to you.